game, credit to them. They made a ton of winning plays when they needed to. They're a tough team. Uh, obviously, they got a lot of championship level players on their roster, and uh, they competed that way, especially down the stretch. Give them a lot of credit. Second half started the second half. They were great. We didn't come out the right way. And the last four minutes of the game when it was winning time, they made every big play that a good team makes. And unfortunately, we didn't make the ones we need to. So we'll learn from it. We need to learn from it, get better as we move forward. That's the guy's question. Yeah, Jalen, just what are the struggles when you when you witness them go on a 17 0 run and then you battle back just late in the game? What struggles are there maybe mentally or physically just for you guys? Uh, when the team gonna go on their runs, it's how you respond. And I think, uh, you know, we responded the right way. We, like you said, we came back, brought it back. I think uh, we tied it a couple of times, had to leave for a little bit. And then, like Coach said, you know, they made some winning plays that we didn't make. We better stick with it. And then, Vaughn, just over the last four games, you guys on the bench have averaged nearly 30 points. And tonight, you put up 19 yourself. Just, I mean, you played the third most minutes tonight. So just, just coming off that bench, is there something that maybe sparks you a little bit more just being out there? Uh, honestly, just when coach put me in, just being ready for being ready to play, uh, just knowing like my worth to the team, just playing hard, just doing what I need to do to, in order for us to win. And then just really, what do you hope not only you and just really the team take from a game like this? Uh, just shows us how to win. Like, also, like the JMU, like tough losses, just we got to find a way to uh, toughen uh, toughen games out. And just shows how to win, and hopefully we make those toughness plays next game. We win. <clears throat> Any more questions for players? All right, you guys are good to go. Good to go. Then just, what was really the main difference there in the first and the second half? I mean, it looked like you guys took a little while to get started there in the first half, but then you ended the first half on a high note, and then the second half comes out, and like I mentioned earlier, they just started off really strong. Yeah, we, we didn't come out uh, with a great mindset, took bad shots. They got out in transition. We didn't get to shooters. They made, uh, I think, five threes in the first couple minutes of the start of the, start of the second half. Again, give them credit, good team. And uh, for us to be a good team, we have to find ways to, to win these games. We've got to play like they did. And then you just mentioned that they made a few threes at the start. But coming into the game, they were shooting 24% from three. And then tonight, they made 13 of them. Just Was there anything they were doing specifically to get those get those looks? And yeah, they, they, they are going to shoot. I don't know, care what their percentage is. They're going to shoot 35% plus over the course of the rest of the season. They've got great shooters that just weren't making shots early in the year. Again, I'm, I'm not in their locker room, so I don't know the evaluation of every shot they're taking, but if they're gonna shoot shots like they did tonight, they're gonna make them. They have great shooters. They shot good looks. We didn't do what we need to do to take away threes. The fact that they shot 32 of them is a problem, um, especially in the start of the second half. And at the end of the day, we gotta get better. We, we gotta get better to, to win games like this. Schedule's not easy. Our schedule's really, really tough. All, all the games we're playing are going to be similar teams to College of Charleston. And uh, for us to have success, we're going to have to get better quickly. And then just could you talk about how the bench has performed, especially Vaughn tonight, and just how they've really been able to just not just give you more room on that? I mean, Vaughn was good. Uh, we had a couple other guys that played okay. Uh, I, I, I don't. I need to watch the film before I comment on them. Obviously, Vaughn had 19 points, so you know he, he played well. But um, we have to get better as a team. It's not about the bench or the starters or this or that. Like we've got to play better. That's the bottom line. And then, just really, what was your thought on just the way the team was able to respond to that 17-0 run and really not let them just not, really just not fall apart there completely and keep battling it and keep it close and battling through the Charleston runs. Yeah, I, I mean, again, I, I, I'd like to give our guys credit because we battled back, but at the end of the day, I, I don't have it here. It was a tie game with three minutes ago, and we, we don't make the plays you need to make to win the game. So give the give College of Charleston credit. They set great screens. They got good looks, and they made them. And on the other side, we didn't, we didn't make shots. We didn't get, set good screens. We didn't execute our stuff late, and uh, that's why we didn't score. And... Uh, Again, give them credit because they deserve credit and give us blame because we, we've got to get better if we want to win these games. Coach, how do you feel the adversity the team has faced in some of these early season battles, the one with Fresno, JMU tonight? How do you think that will bode as we 
you know, turn the calendar into December and then January into back play. You're going to have to ask me that in January. We'll see how we're playing then, right? So um, we're, all of these are lessons to help us. And how we respond to this, we'll see. You know, I, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you how we're going to play in January. But if we learn from these things, then it'll help us. And if we don't learn from these things and we're making the same mistakes uh, in January and February that we're making today, then then that's a problem. So it's so our job, my job, our staff's job to try to, you know, teach the guys what they need to learn. It's our players' job to learn it and then go out and execute. So uh, you'll have to ask me that, you know, middle of January or early February, how we're playing then. Any more questions? Thank you, Coach.